got the Halloween decorations. They're all up. We have the pumpkins. I love it. Can't wait to see all the Halloween decorations. And there goes the Lily Bell. So we are here right just before nine o'clock before it opens. So pretty darn close to rope drop. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. You got the pumpkins. A lot of pumpkin creatures today, you guys. Here we got one, two, got three, four, five. Six, seven, eight of them. And here's a look at Main Street. The reefs are up. But here at Magic Kingdom, it is now Halloween. All right, I like this one. This is my favorite one. All right, so you guys, I just looked at the map. We are here right at Rope Drop. And Tiana's is temporarily closed. What? I know. What? So we have pirates at about five minute wait for Pirates of the Caribbean. So no Tiana's so let's go to Pirates. Not at the moment. So we're going to probably go to uh, Pirates. Yeah. All right. We're here at Pirates. And as you see, hardly anybody here. But you think they'd be coming over from Tiana's realizing that it's closed. First time without the AS, um, they said I can't bring my ele uh, electric scooter, but I don't see a difference between this and that. It's just wheelchair to wheelchair. It's hard. It's hard. Yep. So she needs to be pushed in this wheelchair upward. She's not able to bring her scooter in. They do not allow it. So either she'd have to be in crutches or one of these wheelchairs that they give you. So if she's by herself, she definitely would have to crutch since it's pretty much impossible to wheel that up the hill. Okay, so when you take a wheelchair out, they bring you to an elevator to get out of Pirates, but she is not going in that elevator. So she's gonna climb up the stairs, there's a back way exit, and I'll just carry the wheelchair up for her. I'll get on elevators if they look good, but if they look a little bit old, old. And small. That one was small and they look old. It's more about claustrophobic, more so than the elevator itself. But I can do some elevators, yes. So we just go right around this corner here and there is an exit. I just, um, I mean, I'm sure they have the reasons why, but I don't understand why this can go in, but a scooter cannot. I don't know how that makes sense. Okay. All right, so we're back at the scooter and the wheelchair is back. All right, so that was the first ride you've ever done without DAS. How was the experience? All right. I mean, I don't understand why I could have. I'll say scooter, it. It was not good. I think it was kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah. She would not be able to go with the wheelchair over here in the regular line if she was by herself or Lucas, because you do have to go uphill and she was struggling to wheel it up herself and Lucas was having trouble pushing her up. So I was there to help out, but if it's just them, it's gonna be tough. It will be. I, I wanna clarify something. 
I do have my prosthetic leg and I use it a lot. It's just today I felt like uh, just to give it a try, a no leg day. And it is already extremely hot. So I was like, oh, I'll just go without my leg. But yes, I do have my prosthetic leg. I walk, I work all day, I use it. It's not like I'm always without it. All right, here we are at Tiana's. We're gonna check out and see what's going on. As it's still saying that it's temporarily closed. All right, so the water's running. That's a good sign. All right, there's no line formed at all at Tiana's. It is completely shut down. So we're at a 15-minute wait here for Big Thunder Mountain. All right, so they're sending us down the wheelchair ramp over this way and I think she'll have to transfer into another wheelchair of theirs. So going up the wheelchair ramp on Big Thunder Mountain basically brings you right to the line so much much better compared to Pirates. A lot less hassle. They do come and ask if you want to be in the front or the back, and Lucas said, I want the back. There she goes. We convinced him to go. What's that? We convinced him to go on this ride. Yes, we did convince him. If he can go on this ride, he can do Tiana's. No! No! Yeah. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> you show up in there, you're cleaning it. I'll get you some towels. Oh, yeah. We would put him to work. Yeah, just take your shirt off and then you can just use that. All right. Yep, you guys go in front of me. Perfect. And then we'll have the chair waiting for you on the other side. All right, thank you. And partners, for your safety, remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, remove them because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. I think it's over. They're throwing one more turn. All right, buddy, how was it? <laughs> Exhausting? I love that movie. You did good. All right, I 
that was fun. Let's go check on to see if Tiana's opened up. Okay, Tiana's is still shut down. Okay, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to get a bite to eat for breakfast? Let's go that way. Perfect. All right. Out because I'm starving. Okay, I agree. All right, after breakfast, we're going to come to Country Bear Jamboree. We have not seen the new musical. Lucas, look who we found. Is he trying to read? Hey, we got Shaper Hello. over here. Wendell's here, too. Oh, we have one more. I think they're getting ready for the musical. <laughs> Hello. Okay, oh. All right, for breakfast, we are going to Sleepy Hollow. So here's their new menu items. They have the funnel cake, and as far as the waffles, they now have the Mickey-shaped waffles. We can get the sweet and spicy maple chicken. We have a hazelnut spread that comes with bananas, and then they do have one that still has some strawberries and blueberries on it. I'm gonna do this, one of this. Okay. And then whatever Lucas doesn't eat, I'll eat, because he's not gonna eat them like this. It's okay. a big one. All right. Lucas said he's not hungry. Yeah, right. He's always hungry. Our grocery bill now. This summer. I feel like I want to go back to, to the Minnesota where it's snowing. Is there yeah. a syrup? It's free. It's hot. So I'll grab some syrup. Yep, but that's the berry waffle. And there is our banana. It looks good. Alright, so I've already had a couple bites. I have the Nutella and banana. And I'm going to be honest, you do not get as much Nutella as you did on the previous one. And I'd have to say overall as far as the waffle, it is a uh, good tasting. It's golden. It's a little fluffier than the previous one. But I do miss the old one. I'm going to have to put uh, the Mickey waffle behind that large waffle with all that fruit that you got. You just get a little bit less fruit on this one. So... But at this moment, I'm so hungry, I will eat anything. And don't get me wrong, it's still a good waffle. I just wish they had the previous waffle. You can fold it up like a sandwich, basically. Oh, it, was, like it was huge. He's comparing it to bistro puppy or something. Not bistro. <laughs> no, nothing beats bistro. Yeah, hardly any Nutella on this one at all. Which one? The strawberries or the pancakes? Oh, both. What? Every, every pancake needs some syrup. Wait, syrup. Okay, where are we going to next? We're going to next. Holland Mansion. Alright, 25 minute wait. So we might as well grab that while the line's not too long, and then we'll head over to Country Bear Jamboree. So no backdoor wheelchair entrance on this ride. So we're in the regular line. They say 25 minutes. And I would say it may be a little longer than 25 minutes. We've already been here for about close to 10 minutes. Daddy, can you fan me? Yes, and we are staying hydrated with Prime. Lucas was like, we need our Prime. All right, we're in the shade now. We have the canopy. We just have to make sure Eve stays nice and cool. I know, me always.
<laughs> the real chills come later. Alright, so we're going the back oh, way. So this way they will do the right stop for her so she doesn't have to walk or hop all the way to the seat. So this is our first time doing a ride stop. Five to six minute wait. All right, so we have a ride stop. So let's see if this is our turn. They said to wait here for five to six minutes. All right, it's our turn. All right, let's go. Let's go, you guys. All right, we're all set. The whole time, the left arm will go down by itself on the other side of the loading oh, panel. Thank you. The right comes back. <laughs> Bear Jamboree, the new musical. I'm excited to see it. We always love new shows. Daddy, which one do you want to do? The Peter Pan or this? We'll see about the weight of the line afterwards. We'll check it, okay? I think Peter Pan is also down. Miguel Paw Prince. Amazing. And you can hear me stomp your feet. Amazing. If you have room to stomp your feet, that means there is plenty of room to move all the way forward, filling in all the better available space. So, when did you get this Mickey, Lucas? When it was my first time at Disney. Yes, he was just a baby when he picked that up. Still has it. Wait a minute. We got you that at Disney when you were a baby. It was my first stuff here. And yeah. now I have thousands. Yes, you do. You have quite a few of them. I like your big picture. Oh, thank you. I love his figment shirt. Pretty cool. I guess you're a big fan. I'm a big fan because every time me and Dad and Mom and Grant have a little bit together going to Epcot, I'm like, Dad, can I first ride the um, Figment? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he said he's been coming all the time since 1986. Three. Alright. You're gonna head on into my friend Tamara there. She'll show you around the park. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna have good seats. Right up front. Which side is that? All right, we're parking right here, and we're gonna have front row seats to the show at Grizzly Hall. Fellas, the show's about to start. I can't wait to see it again. And for the rest of the day, the sun's gonna be stuck in my head. Uh, where else would they get stuck? We don't have bodies. <laughs> <laughs> you can take all the photos and video you like. Just please 
no flash photography or video lighting. We've already got Rufus on Spotlight. Uh, do we? Rufus, wake up! Over here. Sorry. Okay, everybody. Now we're ready to start. Give us a little intro there, Goma. Howdy, folks. Welcome to the one and only original country band musical jamboree featuring a wild and woolly assortment of grizzled old grizzlies singing a little country, a little western, and a whole lot of everything in between. So get those paws tapping and those claws clapping for five bears who need no introduction, but I'll give them one anyway. Let's hear it for the five bear rocks! It's our country bear musical jamboree. Settle in, bring all your friends. And now, sweeter than a hive full of honey, it's our very own Trixie and the talented trio, Bunny, Bubbles, and Beulah. <laughs> or is it Beulah, Bunny, and Bubbles? <laughs> well, any way you count it, they're triple the fun. is still an eligible bachelor. Is it the clumpy way he walks? <laughs> or the grumpy way he talks? <laughs> or the pear-shaped, square-shaped weirdness of his feet? <laughs> <laughs> and though we know he washes well, he always ends up sort of smelly. Do say, 
Say that's a rendition we'll remember for a long time. <laughs> now, how about we do one of my favorites? You've got a friend in me. Toy Story! You got a friend in me. Hiya, Sammy. You've got problems. I got them too. Oh, say, Henry, why don't we invite all our friends out there to join us for the finale? Great idea, Sammy. Hey, gang, hit it! Look for the bad necessities, the simple bad necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bad necessities, that's why the bad necessities, just the bad necessities of life. Where did he try to view? The bad necessities of life will come to you. You've already had your chance. But wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're still barely keeping it together. Now gather up all your bare necessities and exit out the doors on your right. What do you say, Sammy? I say, y'all come back, yeah? <laughs> We hope that you'll be coming back again. Come again, please return. Come again, return. The welcome man and always have to you is fine. We hope that you'll be coming back again. Well, this was the best show. Okay, guys. Today, we have no home, sir. It's right now. It is hot. I'm smelting. I'm melting like a snowman. I'm sweating. <laughs> I, I have to take a shower. It's, it's about more than 95% humidity. It's hot. Feels like 100 degrees plus. And Tiana's having issues this morning. So we're going to call it a day. So that was a pretty fun morning. We got to see the new show. We will come back. We'll be back. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Main Street to check out some of the new Halloween merchandise. Pumpkins are cute. Look at the little mini ones down here. Ooh, what's How much that? is this one? They're ceramic there because. Okay. And then the little pumpkins, these are $29.99. Look at this one. They're cute. And then on the back, it says Happy Halloween. So for $59.99, $60, this is the new countdown calendar. We have the little kids area. Cute sweatshirt. He's looking for us. Mita, look what I found. Look at this wreath. Beautiful. That's so cool. And it is $74.99. Have some mugs. So this mug is $24.99. And we got some big pumpkins. Wow, we got two of them already. We actually ended up getting ours at Walgreens one year at the after Halloween sale for about $5. 
and I have a feeling this is more than five dollars and sixty dollars for this pumpkin. But that's a little too expensive for a plastic pumpkin. All right, another lounge fly. So I've been seeing this around. I think this is pretty cute. I like this. This looks like something Eve would wear. Do you, do you like this? Look at the back. Mita, look. That's cute. It is cute. So back to front. Eve likes the pajamas. This is something I would totally wear. Yeah. But look at this. A throw blanket. It is so cute. How much? Forty-five. Ooh, that looks nice and cool. Here's this year's tank top, and this is thirty-four ninety-nine. And this year we have Stitch in a couple different sweatshirts. We have a zip-up, one with cobwebs. So these range from sixty-four ninety-nine. We have $54.99 and we have $64.99. Now for myself, I like this one. I think this is very cute. Very cool. Let's see how much this one goes for. All right, so this goes for $34.99. Nothing on the back, just the front. And then they do have a kiss shirt. We found somebody. Oh no! Okay, where are you gonna get, Lucas? This. A little snack. What is this? A coffin? With gummy worms. Gummy worms? Maybe they put like some Oreo snacks inside. Here they are. So $10.99 before the discount. This shirt is so pretty. Let me see. Wow. I like it. How much is it? $44.99 for a t-shirt. Yeah. It's cute. Alright, so here's your gummy worms that we bought. Are you going to share them? And maybe when I'm done eating them, I might play with the case and put some of my broken toys in here. Okay. Like the, my toys that have a broken arm. May they rest in peace, huh? Rest in peace. Okay. See ya real soon. Okay, Eve had a really good idea. What is it, babe? A Puerto Rican restaurant. All right, let's do it. 192. Yes. So we have a couple options. We have grill grillers. Pal Campo. Okay. Let's take a look and see. We'll choose one of those. What time do we have? 12, 18, all right. Yeah, we gotta get out of here before the rain comes. All right, we're at Palcampo. This is one of our go-to Puerto Rican spots. So Eve has been coming here for a long time here in Orlando. Come here. And I'm at least glad. Am I in a stream right now? Go sit up there, go ahead. There you go. Yeah, all the way back. They 
We've got a lot of good stuff. We're gonna be getting some appetizers. Everything here looks so good. We got a lot of pork and chicken. They do have a seafood. Lucas, do you want the corn Look, El Junque, we were just there. Go watch our videos that we uploaded of the rainforest. Skirt steak, lobster, they got the mofongo. Oh, these were so good. This feels like I'm in Puerto Rico right now. So we're going to go with the shrimp, pizza and shrimp. Shrimp, the yours. Do you want a Creole or garlic? Let's go Creole. Yep, it's spicy. So we're going to get this in Creole. And then we're going to get a couple turnovers. We're going to get a pizza and we're going to get a shrimp turnover. And Lucas, he is going to get the cornmeal sticks. Empanada. Very good. It's a pizza empanada. Oh, you got the pizza, okay. So this is shrimp creole. And basically it's like a mini mofongo. In fact, Eve had this in Puerto Rico as an appetizer. So let's grab a little shrimp here. A little sauce. Alright. So good. Here's the good food. Try the cup. There it is. Oh, the flavor, so good. Love it. Mm. Except I'm gonna have to use a fork. Try some of the sauce. There we go. Amazing. Yeah, one of our favorite Puerto Rican places in Orlando. Just outside of Disney.
when I can't eat a whole mofongo, I like to buy these little, order these little things. It's good. And you get a lot of the shrimp on there. A lot of shrimp in each of the cups. And so this is my empanada. So this is really spicy. I actually prefer this. This tastes kind of similar to a ketchup and a mayo mix. So this is the shrimp empanada. Good flavor. One of the best empanadas. So much flavor in these. It's not just regular shrimp. It's just seasoned very well. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Yep, go ahead.